Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's pal has number one target, and it's not King Charles. Greetings from Royal Family Alid on my channel. According to insiders, Prince Harry and the royal family fell out while Queen Elizabeth U was ill. Omid Scobie, a friend of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has a number one target in Buckingham Palace, and it's not King Charles II. In the past few weeks, Scobie, who co-wrote the 2020 pro-sex book Finding Freedom, has provoked criticism for making a number of harsh remarks about King Charles. Because of this, the writer, who has also made several allegations regarding Harry and his relationships inside the gates of the palace, has come under fire from royal insiders. Furthermore, although it seems that the author is primarily upset with Harry's father Charles, another source stated that the author was really trying to point the finger at someone else. The argument started when rumors circulated that royal courtiers were incensed at allegations that Prince William and Harry's rivalry was started when the Queen was dying last year. Thank you, please share my video. In an attempt to reach Scotland from the US in time to be with her before she passed away in September 2022, Scobie claimed William disregarded her calls. The author further asserted that there was no proof that Charles spoke with his youngest son Harry in the closing moments of Her Majesty. Scobie described William in the book Endgame as feeling he has lost Harry and doesn't want to know this version of him. It appears no matter what happens behind closed doors, even in a time of such pain and grief, that where the royal family are concerned it will one day emerge, a royal source told the Daily Mirror. Since William and Kate seem to be this author's primary targets, nothing is off limits. The knives will soon be out again and the wounds will reopen in a matter of months. The release of Scobie's book coincides with the Wednesday launch of a campaign for kids and their families by William's wife, Kate, Princess of Wales. Supporters of the royal family have stated that the timing was planned and intended to disparage Kate's contributions. More recently, a reliable source claimed that any possibility the two had of spending a moment together on Charles's birthday had vanished. Although it had been reported that Harry was scheduled to call his father on Tuesday to wish him a happy 75th birthday, a source informed express.co.uk that the news of a phone call came as a surprise. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. It was definitely not communicated to the other side in a timely fashion, but there may have been a willingness there for the Sussexes to call the king on his birthday, they stated. The king definitely didn't take the call during the day while he was busy working, they continued. He didn't have a moment alone during the evening because he was spending time with his family and friends.